French bitch, say la vie. I just put them on a jet, now they all Italian. We are just staring at all the food. Guys, can I just say, last night I got here at 11 o'clock at night and we went out for um, a few drinks, whatever. When yeah. we got back, my asthma was really bad. Yeah. And I realized I'd forgotten my inhaler. So we woke up this morning, we are like, how are we gonna get an inhaler? And Celia's boyfriend's friend, so he asked one of his friends who uses an inhaler how we can get an inhaler. Exactly. And apparently if you walk into a pharmacy, you can get one. So, like, if it's an emergency. Yeah. So we were like coming up with a story. <laughs> yeah. Of like how it's urgent, but it's not an asthma attack. Yeah. And we got there, and the lady was just so nice. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care like, less. Just, just like, like asthma, asthma, yeah. yeah. There you Sorted. go. So now I feel yeah. so much better, and I feel like I'm more relaxed now. And we just yeah. got a chocolate twist. Yeah. Should we show what's inside? Oh, yeah. sorry, my husband. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, la la. With some coffee. <laughs> The sun is out for us here in Paris. It's so windy that this is, I had to tie my hair back. And this is like the scenario. Celia came to throw away her coffee and it spilled on her a bit. And I was just like, look at us, going with the wind. Oh, not to sound like Khloe Kardashian, but the wind, you guys. Our walk through the park has brought us to our lunch destination. We're at Le Cafe Mali and it's beautiful. The sun's come out, which is why we're sprinting now. <laughs> Celia was obviously prepared for sunglasses. I forgot my sunglasses. I might just walk into like an H&M and get sunglasses. Yeah, let's check the weather. I don't know if this is even going to be sunny again. This might be our, this might be our one for 10 minutes of sunshine. Because it was yeah. raining for a bit, so I had to yeah. pop my hood up. I also wasn't planning on wearing a hoodie. I had like a coat, but my coat wasn't matching my shoes wasn't matching anything so the outfit just wasn't coming together we changed, we changed direction thing is is because i think I, when i was planning my outfits i was planning on wearing these like nude long boots but they're not really made for walking oh right and also yeah. the pink boots as well in general yeah. see i've got some very cool tonight we've, we're, going we're going to like boots, is yeah. it like a burlesque club thing yeah we're going to Chez burlesque Chelulu. we're going to a cool new burlesque club and we're going to try like cool outfits for yeah that. we're going to do proper not like backwards no, no, no. <laughs> with the coffee. Not back with the t-shirt with the coffee. We're gonna do but on outfit. I've got like a nude top underneath this and I'll like probably take it off in a, in a bit for a cute little picture moment, but for now I'm just gonna put my hoodie on. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the rose. Guys, the Chardonnay tasted like beer. We, we drank it because we do not waste resources out here, no. food or drink. That is rude. No, it's not. By the way, we last night, Celia laid out this charcuterie table. It was like a whole baguette. It was two packs of salami. It was a whole slab of cheese. What is it called again? Like a whole block. It was a whole big, block of cheese. Big, big, yeah. Big a, a bowl of mozzarella balls with cherry tomato. And then, and then a plate of three cakes. We ate it all. <laughs> We ate it all. Like there was no shame there. We yeah. ate all of it. We did. Yeah, yeah. We, went we out. had a bit before we went out, and then when we came back, we devoured the whole rest of it with no shame and pure enjoyment. Pure enjoyment. Because we don't weigh. <laughs> but anyway, let's try this rosé now to see if we like it. Cheers to us in Paris. Oh, it's so much better. Way better than that. So the white wine was awful. The white wine tasted like beer, as it if that's a thing. No, it was really actually unpleasant. Unpleasant. Okay. Which is quite extreme. What did you think of the tuna tartare? No. Nice. Yeah, I thought it was really fresh. Fresh, fresh for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan. Just, now we're on to the next. No, on to the next. We're just courses. literally enjoying, like, as in, I feel like we could sit here and, like, say nothing, but because we're together, yeah. we do so, feel so, nice. so like, comfy, comfy yeah. and, like, whatever. But last night, because of my asthma situation, I couldn't sleep properly next to Celia because I had to sit up and I was coughing and I didn't want to wake her. So tonight you're getting full coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs>
<laughs> Tonight you're getting all the cuddles. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, oh, we've got shit. a fresh made bed now. Well. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the cleaner came round and, and cleaned the, the room and the bathroom and everything. And we were in the middle of getting ready. We were in the middle of getting ready. So, we were so yeah. sorry. Yeah. She was really good, very efficient. She was really sweet. Yeah. And very, very kind lady. Like really, really we were like literally like sorry we look like this. She was like, it's okay, I'm a woman, you're a woman. Like yeah, <laughs> I understand. So yeah. You're a kind lady. But nice, we're loving but yeah. this. I think like so far our day has been so serene and perfect. So also serene. sleeping in Celia's apartment becomes pitch black. It's like of those blinds yeah. where they're like they're like proper They're so dark. They're so, it's almost too dark because I can't find my way. If I need to go up in the night, I literally bump into no, no, genuinely when I tell you like this morning we woke up I woke up at eleven thirty because I couldn't really sleep and then I yeah. when I eventually fell asleep it was late, so we woke up at eleven thirty and I could not tell if it was daylight or or dark outside. That's the thing, it's tempting to just go back to sleep. Isn't it? It's nighttime. You're like, oh yeah. You could ease it. I, th yeah. I think if you have jet lag or you need to correct your sleep pattern, that it's is perfect. the apartment yeah. for you. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it's beautiful, beautiful, such a nice apartment. <laughs> I mean, we waited an hour and a half for this, but yeah, it better be good. It best be good. <laughs> so, the steak tartare was lovely. Yeah. The pasta was awful and cold, and we waited an hour and a half for it. So, we, we sent it back. Yeah. Which we were saying we haven't, haven't done, done that, that in a very long time. Yes. Would we recommend here? Yes, for the views and the vibes and yeah. the steak tartare. But be prepared in slow. Quite mean. <laughs> yeah, that they were quite mean, weren't they? Quite the mean. service was. But, yeah. but um, it was. The, oh, the people watching is great. Though. People watching is great. It's always fun. Very cool place. I mean, yeah. come check it out, but eat somewhere else after before. <laughs> Come so for a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. but even yeah, the drink yeah. is like, be careful what you select. Yeah, you have to go. Don't get the, the rosé. Was okay. Don't, don't, don't get, get the white. Don't, don't, don't get the white. The white. <laughs> yeah, and that's our review. So review. get one glass of rosé. <laughs> and that's it. Come people watch with a glass of rosé. Yeah, also, we tried to figure out if Emily and Paris had a scene in here, and I think they did. I think Paris and Mindy came. This is Las Vendom. So pretty. Trying on some jewelry bits in Cartier. We found a ring and bag leaf that we like yeah. because I actually haven't announced in the vlog that oh, yeah. I got my dream job. <laughs> um, when I leave Cartier, I will tell you guys that I got my dream job. We're in Galilee Lafayette, um, just checking out some of the different brands and seeing some of the things that I wanted from London that um to see if they have it like in stock here but they actually don't I'm surprised they don't have it in stock I'm surprised yeah yeah um but yeah we're just browsing now I don't have my eyes on anything in particular I think everything that I was looking for they don't have so we're just gonna look around and see if there's anything that we like that catches our eye Perfect. This is my outfit of the night. It's an O Poly set. See, show your outfit because you look stunned. Where's your corset from? I don't know. I feel like I got it. Is it vintage? Yeah, I think so. And then her skirt is Frankie's, and then her blazer is vintage as well. And then these black boots. Scanny. I love. Very hot. Cool girl. <laughs> we're going to a Lulu club and we're very excited. Yeah. Off we go. This is a blog from the yeah, vlogging. Outfit of the day. We're gonna do a little outfit of the day check. See so okay, you come fast because you're you're about to go off. So we've got a cute little raincoat, cardigan, mini skirt situation. Very cute. I am wearing a, literally it's a men's shirt that I'm trying to style out as a like t-shirt dress from Jacques Mousse. And then this uh, raincoat. I would have ideally worn this without the tights, but because it's raining in Paris, I know I'll get cold. So we're just going with it. And then this like fluffy bag. And that's my vibe for today. We're just strolling through Avenue Montaigne. It's so pretty here. I ended up changing my outfit because I wasn't feeling the baggy t-shirt with the coat, but it is gonna rain. 
so I had to switch it up. And then I got this necklace from a brand called Mayo. It's um, Greek, and it was 170 euros. And then I had to pay 50 euros for the tax, and I just feel like it wasn't worth it. But it's cool, but I wouldn't buy it again because I feel like it's not. <laughs> Celia is laughing. I feel like it's not worth the money that I've spent on it. But um, we're here for it anyway. It's a moment with the outfit. Bonjour. Dreamy breakfast scenario. We're happy gals. Our breakfast here was actually really nice. I think we have a seal of approval. And the, would you come back for like the, the hot chocolate? Yeah, I, I love that. Their latte and their iced latte here is like maybe my favorite ever. So if any of you guys watched <clears throat> my Paris vlog from last year, they came here and I said I had my favorite latte ever and it didn't disappoint today, it was really good. Look at you. Oh, is that the lip, lip oil? Yeah. Is it good? It's so good. Worth, worth the, because it's like 30 quid, isn't it? Worth it. You look, your lips look juicy. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm, so we were thinking between this plain one and then the diamond one. And I think I'd rather just get the diamond one because I feel like it's worth, do you think it's worth the difference? It's more dressy, it makes quite yeah. a difference. It made, it made a big difference. Yeah. Perfect. So I actually haven't really explained on my vlog, but the day that I came to Paris, literally two hours before I boarded the Eurostar, I found out that I got my dream job as an obstetrics and gynecological surgical trainee. I had to sit an exam, I had to do an interview, and I literally had to, I think competition ratio was really, really, really high. All doctors who can take the post. So I'm very, very proud and I'm buying this bracelet as a gift to myself for achieving that and I'm proud of myself. Celia thinks I deserve it. <laughs> um, I know. <laughs> but um, originally I looked at it without the diamonds um, and the lady just bought one of the diamonds out and it just made such a difference, um, obviously. <laughs> Um, but I was just, <laughs> yeah, it made such a difference. But as in, I, I was like, you know what? You only live once. Like, I'm never gonna get into a job ever again. Like, I'm, this is my job for life now, um, provided I stay in medicine. Um, so I'm just, I'm proud of myself, and I want to treat myself. And then Sina said she wants one too, which is typical Sina. So I'm gonna buy one for her as well. Um, and yeah, well, I'll probably unbox it back in London, maybe in a separate video for you guys because I've still got all the stuff that I got for my birthday that I haven't opened up and I can show it to you. A little cheers moment. Shopping back off to the flat, had a little outfit change. I borrowed, borrowed Celia's scarf and coat. Cute. And then Celia's also had a little change. And we're at a place called Nanette. Um, what road is this? Avenue Rap. Avenue Rap. R A P. Um, this place is called Lynette and we want to have steak tartare and we want to have escargot which is snails for those of you who don't know I love it and we're, we looked up or Celia looked up where was like local in the area that we could come to have and this one was really highly rated so as the little food connoisseurs that we're being here in Paris <laughs> So, talk us through. It looks like a surgical. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're I not think. doing any operations. I exactly. That I actually looks, looks like a forceps that you'd get a baby like, out with. Yeah, this looks like. So this is for. I think this is to hold it, and then afterwards you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound effect. <laughs> oh my God! Sizzling snails. This looks insane. I need to take a picture. Oh, 
Iran. But any of my Iranians, this tastes like bone marrow, max like alam. It tastes the same. <laughs> Lovely. Chicken, but more yeah. See, you could tell from the tone of my voice that I might be panicking a bit because I've not had steak tartare that looks this raw. <laughs> it's quite raw. It's quite raw. Yeah, so we've secured some gifts. We got a few of these giant macaroons and then a few of the smaller ones. Um, yeah, that's it. So I got some macaroons for now for me and Celia, and then I got some for my family as well because as Persians know when you're celebrating something as well you're meant to buy something sweet and for my new job I guess I wanted to get something sweet from Paris so I've got a box of macaroons here we are with our giant macaron situation so it's my last night in Paris and we are going to a restaurant called Verde which I really love I've been I've not been to the Paris one but I've been to the one in Dubai and Saint Tropez and I love it. My outfit is from O Poly and my shoes are public desire. And I've gone for like a very Barbie look. And then Celia. Oh, the light's gone a bit weird. Oh, it was almost here. Celia's wearing a jumpsuit, which has like got this very sexy deep V. Very cute. And then I did like her bronze and blush, guys, and I feel like. The Charlotte Tilbury stuff is really looking good on her.